Hello, I'm Aparna, Executive Member of the Media and Public Relations Committee of IIM Raipur. Here we have with us Shri Ashi Chanolia, Senior Director HR from Doom. Uh, so, on behalf of the entire IIM Raipur community, I welcome you to the 7th HR Summit 2023 held at IIM Raipur. Thank you. So, moving on with the first question. You've set up HR processes right from scratch. Can you tell us some of the most important learnings from that process? So most important learning as uh, we are operating into the uh, HR processes, so all related to uh, employee workforce. Mm -hmm. So it gives us immense pleasure like in every aspect of the employment life cycle that we are uh, touching for their benefits. Okay. It helps us in saving time. It helps us uh, uh, feeling, give a feeling of importance to the employees that we have. Uh, in case if I have to take an example, suppose uh, using the technology and the processes, we have uh, health insurance benefits for any person and his family, okay. which is very well available on all sort of platforms. And person has uh, not to worry on the last minute rush in case, God forbid, if there is an emergency situation, uh, the health insurance, the details, the list of hospitals, all other benefits, the uh, gym benefits, the other extra benefits that are available at their fingertips. Okay. So that's give me an uh, immense helping hand that uh, a person has not to worry about the end rush for himself and his family members. All right. That's a very insightful answer, sir. Thank you. Uh, moving on to the next question. Nowadays, the role of AI and machine learning has become very dependent. So, in such cases, how do you think companies can preserve the human element? Uh, so, I think uh, technology has always been there and it will be enabling and helpful for the future processes as well to uh, make them more better, more robust. But uh, human element will always be there, be it the recruitment processes, be it uh, uh, any other uh, employee benefits, any other uh, HR processes that we are speaking about. Uh, maybe uh, lately uh, companies are using recruitment for their uh, uh, AI or maybe technology for the recruitment processes but uh, given middle and senior level uh, human interaction is there and will always be there because in case if you are uh, hiring a wrong person uh, at a senior level it may cause a lot of attrition and the whole culture or the environment of the organization can go for a toss. So human element will always be there, doesn't matter how better, how robust the technology that we are using or the processes that we made, yeah. human element will always be there. Alright, it makes sense sir, I mean mm -hmm. without human element, technology cannot actually drive That's itself. It. Agreed. Okay, my next question would be, um, how do you think that startups can employ effective HR practices in a very cost efficient manner that can maximize their growth potential? So see, startup, uh, it's all uh, new age organization, uh, new culture, uh, young age employees. So our organization uh, average age is, uh, you can say, 29 years currently. So uh, using more of the technology, we were, uh, giving them a scope of work as they used to work in, you can say, different time zone mm -hmm. altogether. Mm -hmm. So flexibility in working hours and other benefits that we can pass on making an uh, work from home or hybrid policy so that uh, they can be more uh, proficient enough and they can be adding more value to the team. So software engineers, uh, people who like to work in silos, they can work from home, they can work from remote, but the productivity can be measured as well. So I think by giving these three, four uh, effective uh, policies change, so we are able to retain our best of the resources with us. I Yes sir, I agree. Because nowadays, ever since things have become more flexible, mm -hmm. uh, there has been a lot of changes happening. Yes, yes. And uh, my final question for the day is, uh, what, can you give us some advice to the students of IIM Raipur? So uh, I think we had a, a good discussion today, so with all the panelists as well. So, any organization, if you are targeting a new organization, old organization, a bigger organization, so 
read well the job description for what you are applying. Uh, you can uh, make some uh, customization to the uh, questions, queries and whom you are getting interviewed to and where are you entering into, what is the requirement for them. Be a learner always, uh, not afraid of asking questions. Nobody will refuse you if you have any queries or inquiries for any sort of uh, products, services, technologies, things like that. And generally, uh, most of the organizations follow this. We also do that, uh, a two by two kind of metrics. You may not be 100% uh, fit in the role, but if you have done diverse things, if you have done a lot of uh, uh, knowledge, if you have uh, uh, subject matter expertise with you, in, in case if you are not fitting 100% in the role, but organization will still uh, like to and love to hire you if you are uh, agile, flexible and learning to uh, open to learning and you can just adapt new things and challenges. So I think we are good to go. That's a very insightful answer sir. Thank you so much and uh, we are very happy that you came for the interview today. Looking forward to host you again. Thank you. Thanks very much.